people really struggle with recall at scale. And so what did we do? Well, we realized that machines are pretty good at that. And so we decided to make it a lot easier to make a Wikipedia page. So we built Quicksilver. Quicksilver is a system that can draft the first version of the Wikipedia page for you. We started with a focus on scientists because we kind of have a soft spot for scientists, and also because we thought this was a useful place to get going. We put example output, outputs for 100 scientists up onto this site, and you can access it right now if you like to and uh, browse some of these pages. So we made it as easy as we could for you to grab one of these pages and go to Wikipedia and copy across the web references and make that final version. We also made a lot more data available through the link on the blog post that you can follow from here. So the first question is, how did we do this? Well, we started as any good AI project does with a huge pile of data. Um, our friends up at the Allen Institute for AI gave us a massive list of scientists, names, affiliations, papers. We leveraged our, um, our huge corpus of English language news articles, and we also use Wikipedia and its sister project, Wikidata, which has structured data that goes alongside it. Our first challenge was to link these together. Um, based on the scientists' names. Now, this is tricky because, obviously, people, have, uh, people don't have unique names. My favorite example of this, actually, is the Michael Jordan of AI, who is a computer science professor called Michael Jordan. He's over at the University of California in Berkeley. Um, if you were to Google him, and I actually recommend you do because he's one of the most interesting thinkers on the future of AI out there, and he wrote a great blog post this summer. If you Google him, you'll realize that you can't get away with just Googling Michael Jordan. You need to put in a bunch of other words, like machine learning or artificial intelligence or Berkeley, to get down to who he is. So we had to train the system to do a similar thing. Once we link them together, we can make a list. The list of who's missing. So the people with a lot of content, but no page. Some of these gaps are pretty egregious. People with an enormous amount of press coverage, huge amount of interest in their scientific research, and yet no page that's been created. We could then start to figure out how to build pages for them. So the first thing we did was we went back to Wikipedia. We grabbed all the scientists already on Wikipedia and all the news we could find about them. That gives a training set of 30,000 profiles of how news maps to Wikipedia pages. And then we could train the system to draft that first version. So here's what it looks like. This is Karen Lips, who's missing from Wikipedia. Um, so she's a researcher in amphibians and reptiles over at the University of Maryland. So there's a few things that I want to call out that are happening in this, um, in this summary. The first one is that we would leverage um, structured content. So we went into this news and we found out facts and claims that people were making about her. So where does she work? What does she study? Um, where is she based? Does she have any major awards? And that we could drop in. Secondly, we could make a really rich summary trained on the kinds of content that make it into Wikipedia paragraphs. But maybe they're a bit too rich to kind of easily structure into um, into triple. So things like the idea that she uh, has, has researched fungus on frogs and understood that that was a main reason why frog populations were decaying. And then finally, we created an event stream. So this is really bread and butter for Primer. Given a huge number of articles, pick out the big stories and tell the story of how her research is impacting the world and how that's unfolding over time. So this is all machine generated. Here's another example. Um, Andre Carpathy is, uh, he's now the uh, director of AI over at Tesla, so maybe a little bit more familiar to this audience. 